pretty much use maths every day, even sure. though we don't have maths every day. How do you use it? Uh, you, you've got angles in maths with the angles of the joints you use. You've got your measurements in maths. Conversion. Yeah. You've got, you've got all these numbers that you need to how much wood you need and what length you need. And money, basically, like how much you need to do the job and how much you need to buy the wood and how much you're going to earn back for profit. How much wood you need, the quantity and... The thickness of the timber, so like a third, so like measuring thirds, percentages you use, different joints. What joints makes it strong, like one in seven angle you got for a dovetail joint, so it's to make the joint of the wood stronger. Recently we learned about buying wood and when we go to a wood merchant or a company that sells wood, they basically, depending on the timber size that you need, they'll go up in uh, like 100 millimetres. So it will start from 1.8 metres and go up in 100. So then you're not over buying and getting oversized, you don't have a lot of wastage, which probably could be used for something else. So we got taught like, how to properly like work out the amount of wood that we need, say for a roof structure, we'd have to measure the one out and then get how many we would need. So there's a bit of multiplication in there, adding, subtract, subtracting, and stuff like that. Basically, conversion is like um, converting meters to millimeters, centimeters to millimeters, millimeters to centimeters. So if we want a big piece of timber, we're not going to use millimeters, we're going to use meters and then we'd have to convert that into millimetres or centimetres. Basically, if we're doing like, um, we have a halving joint or like some, some dovetail or other thing, like we're gonna use, be, use an angle on it. So you're gonna be using like a bevel edge, you know, a marking gauge, so that's, that's all contains angles. You know. We get the measurements on the, on the pin of a piece of paper and we just got to draw the measurements on, but we have to have the width of the wood and we have to, do all the measurements correct. So at the end of our project, the product project is the same as the drawing on the paper. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, if you think about it, if, if you don't know your area for your floor or your perfect for your roofing, you just stand there at a job site going, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I don't. So if you learn this and then you know what you're gonna do and then you can get the job done, get your money and then move on. So, but if you don't know what you're doing, then you're, just, you're not gonna get anywhere in the course.